and it's something it's being tugged on, and you yank it down, and you're like, oh, and it's just covered in cobwebs. Oh. Yeah. yeah. You may be unaware, but Sherwood Library has a dungeon, or at least a room that turns into a dungeon a couple of times a week, and it's a completely logical use of the library's space. Um, it fits really well into sort of like the library for our like services we provide because you've got that connection sort of like to the literary side of things with like fantasy novels and stuff like that. Um, and then you also have that sort of shared storytelling community creative aspect to it, which just like it's perfect for the library. Calvin Hill works for the library. Though Dungeon Master isn't in his job description, it's a role he's taken on so that others can experience the wonder of imaginative play. I took a mat leave for my son, so I stopped playing with the D&D group that I used to play with. And I thought, this is close to home, it's local, I'm going to give it a try. And it turned out to be such a good group that we even went past the registered classes and now we just meet up on our own. <laughs> The adventures that await any game of D&D are carried out in campaigns. The Dungeon Master, or DM, decides the broad story, but the players choose how it unfolds. And that's where the best memories are made. The best battle we had was actually the first one that I've ever fought in. My character was just like, doing really good the whole time, and uh, I dealt the final blow, and um, like my character ended up jumping out of a tree onto the guy and just like, you know, it's gruesome, stabbing him in the head and cutting his head off and all this cool stuff. So there was one moment where we had entered a abandoned castle. Um, so it was like a castle from the past and we actually had fought a goblin. So he had spells to puppet all these creations that he created to create a court of people living with him. Um, so it was a little eerie, but it was a lot of fun. Truthfully, like all, all of the campaigns are, are super fun. And like obviously fighting the monsters is awesome and trying to figure out what spell or what uh, weapon or what to use. And the fact that you can epically fail is, is fun too. Cause I mean, like you, you create these guys, you don't want them to die. Most of the players I spoke with said the same thing. It's a really fun night out. You get to meet a bunch of new people and you get drawn into the adventures you face. Um, it, I would say it's for most people, if you have a bit of an imagination and a sense of adventure, then it's definitely for you. And I would definitely recommend it to anyone as and the more time you have to spend on it, the better, because you get really into the, your character and really into the action of it all and you want it to keep going. The library runs both adult and teen sessions. New games start periodically throughout the year, but getting into one of the games can be tricky. It's tough, there is a lot of demand for it. Uh, we usually have a few spaces um, and we'll have waiting lists on all our programs. So if we ever have people that are having to drop out, you know, they're not able to attend regularly, they're like, I think I'm gonna drop out for a little bit. We we'll reach out to people to make sure we get them in. Um, so definitely make sure you get your names on waiting lists for the programs if you can. Wishing I had brought my dice and magic spells to Sherwood Library in Milton. I'm Dee Glazebrook for Halton News. <laughs> oh really, it's the one straight line. <laughs>